Hello, my name is Patrick and I'm the co-founder of Reclaim and I wanted you to be the first person to know about a brand new feature we just launched based on feedback you gave us. And that is the ability to target tasks on different calendars. As you probably know, since you engaged with us on this, on this feature request, uh, Reclaim has historically scheduled all of the tasks to the primary calendar in your Reclaim account. So for example, if I go here to uh, my calendars, you can see Reclaim schedules on the primary calendar. You may also know that in the last few months, we've launched Habits 2.0, which included lots of new features, including the ability to schedule on secondary calendars. Well, I'm happy to report that we now support doing it for tasks as well. Let me walk you through how that works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead first over here to Google Calendar and I'm gonna make a third calendar. I have one here called Personal Stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and make another one called Work Tasks that's also in here. And we will see that gets created as a sub-calendar in Google, there it goes. And I'm gonna come back into the Settings Calendar uh, right here and show you how I can now select work tasks as an additional connected calendar. So now you can see I've got three of these that are set up, my primary calendar, personal stuff, and work tasks. And this is where the new feature comes into play. You can see under working hours, I can configure where tasks get scheduled. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, I want my task to get, my work tasks to get scheduled in the work task calendar. Similarly, for personal hours, I want that to be on personal stuff. I already set that up here. And then lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and make um, a errands uh, scheduling hours, place for personal errands in the afternoons. And I'm gonna say this is for personal tasks and also we'll schedule on personal stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And I'm gonna say that these are things that I do sometime in uh, from say 4 p.m. to say 7 p.m. all every day. So now I've got a custom scheduling hours called errands as well as personal and working hours that are scheduling to other uh, calendars. And so now let's go ahead and create a um, mow the lawn task. And I'm gonna need half an hour to mow the lawn and I'm gonna call that a personal task and set that up. I'm also going to create a um, get to inbox zero, and that's a work related task. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I need two hours. I've been really neglecting my inbox. So I'm going to set that up as a work related task. Um, and then finally, I'm going to um, go ahead and set up uh, one more uh, errand. Let's call it uh, grocery shopping under my errands task. And I'm going to say that's due. Uh, uh, at the end of the week, and I'll go ahead and schedule that. And what we can see is I've got my three tasks scheduled now here, and they've all kind of landed on the calendar um, uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, this one actually scheduled partly today because I said it was an hour, but I was okay to do it, break it up into pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that just so that we don't have to see that. And what we'll see is all three are scheduling on the calendar tomorrow. But what's cool is they are all on these sub calendars. They are no longer on the primary calendar. That means I can show and hide them so I can see my main calendar as I, as I want to see fit, uh, as a, you know, so I can just see meetings, for example, but they'll still schedule and adapt to my whole availability. So for example, if I say I'm busy for a meeting at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. tomorrow on my primary calendar, we will see that the task will adapt accordingly in a moment when our scheduler wakes up. Um, I can also play with colors. So for example, I could say, I want my personal tasks to be more of a, I don't know, let's call it a mango. No, mango is actually my, my color here, an avocado color. And I want my work tasks to be a uh, banana, for example. So here you can now see the scheduler in action. So those personal tasks can be shown and hidden and be their own color. Those work tasks can be shown and hidden. And what's nice is because they're not on my primary calendar, not only can I get rid of the clutter when I want to, it also means that no matter what, if they're free or busy, those tasks will not impact my core availability on this calendar. And so if you like using tasks, but you don't like how they impact your availability when people are using the find a time feature, um, then that's, this, uh, this feature really helps with that. And just to really highlight that, let me show you. 
I'm going to change this. I'm going to say that this thing is actually due basically today. I need to, I need to get to inbox zero. And so what we're going to see is it's going to get marked as busy and defended. So now it's a busy task. But if someone were looking to meet with me using the find a time feature, the find a time feature only uses my primary calendar. And so it's not going to get seen as busy due to that busy task, despite it being defended and marked as busy, it's on a separate calendar that my coworkers wouldn't normally see. So there's lots of reasons why you'd want to use this new feature. I hope you enjoy it. Please give us some feedback and let us know how it goes. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.